Let artisan kitchens and baths make the possibilities come to life in your home. Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Rexinger from Artisan Kitchens. I have the honor today of cooking on the Big Green Egg with Marty Biniaz. So what we're gonna be making today is what I like to call Polish soul food. And it, the main ingredients, kapusta, sauerkraut, ham, and we're gonna be using Polish sausage for our core ingredients. Let's get to it, what's our first step? So what you do is you take dried European or Polish mushrooms and you put that into water and you let that steep down so you get a nice mushroom broth. So while these mushrooms are cooking, Marty's gonna put some sausage on the grill to give it some of that added charcoal flavor. And this is a nice added bonus because we're doing this recipe on the big green egg. We can actually use it and grill it while we're cooking the other ingredients. So I guess what we'll do right now is let's take the mushrooms and the broth off the grill. We'll take the sausage off the grill and we're gonna prepare uh, the, the, the dish for, for the next step. You throw some onions in, some garlic. Now we're going to take some slab bacon that we've cubed up. We're going to throw that in here and we're going to start sautéing this inside. All these ingredients are going to be in the big green egg pot and you're going to get this beautiful mix of flavors all together. You're going to get the garlic, you're going to get the onions, but that bacon and you know everybody loves bacon. Got to have bacon. So we've got some cubed up Polish sausage. That's going in next, right Marty? That's right, we've already rendered down some of this bacon fat here. We got some nice brown crispy pieces of bacon. Then you use the kapusta, you use the sauerkraut. So when goes the kapusta, Marty? This is one of the four food groups of Polish soul food. Now we're gonna put some tomato paste in. This just gives it a little bit of sweetness. Also adds to the color as all these flavors and the ingredients come together. You wanna to continue to mix this in. One of the specialty ingredients that you'll use is some bigo spice. Very robust. So we call this Polish soul food, but really peasant food. So the people living in Poland would have used every single part of the animal, every sort of, sort of a, a piece of food that they could imagine. So you want to throw that ham bone in because as that starts to cook, the taste of the marrow is just going to add to that meaty flavor of this hunter stew. You know, by adding the porter, that alcohol, once it renders down, is gonna mix with the bacon fat, the sausage, the sauerkraut, and all those tastes come together. You're gonna add that mushroom broth back into the mix in the final stage to give it that earthy feeling. And we're gonna close this down, and we're gonna let it cook. On goes the lid. We're just about done here. So let's plate this up, Marty. I'll put in some Bigos, and you can top it with some of that beautiful sausage. Well, that turned out nice, especially when you get a chance to just give this a light grilling. Cooking with Jeff today has been a great experience because he's taught me that I can take this traditional inside Polish dish and do it outside on a grill. There you have it, Marty. Bigos on the big green egg. What'd you think? Well, it is outstanding, and I think I have a brand new way of preparing it. As we say in Polish, bon appetit or schmaznego and nafdrowie to your health.